Alright, hey everyone. Um, we received a request for a melting video um, on platinum. So we'll be doing that today. Now, the pieces that I've got sitting down here today are cutoffs from previous jobs. So it's all fresh metal, so this has never been remelted before. Um, so we're going to melt this today, but the way that I melt platinum is much different to the way that I'll melt pretty much any other metal. Um, I had this sort of made, this little cut made, sort of prevents it. This is good for platinum and palladium for after the melt has gone down, so you cap it and you reduce the amount of oxygen that is sucked into the metal as it turns from a liquid form to a hard form. Um, so that's, that's one tip that I'll use. What, other ways that you can do it is maybe with the crucible. Use another crucible and stick that over the top. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll go into it now. Now, I melt into a blob. Um, trying to melt into a bar form with platinum or tipping it into a steel ingot or even the ceramic, it's just too hot. Um, it just cracks, you know? So, I try and use this way and uh, I found a lot of success ever since I started doing it this way and yeah, I'll pretty much get into it. I just want to heat it slowly, don't want to heat it too fast. Um, I haven't preheated this crucible because this is such a high melting temperature, um, it's not really necessary. If you heat it slowly, the crucible will heat well and truly to the temperature it needs to be during the melt. Um, if you preheat it before, you can overheat the crucible and burn the metal through. But, um, yeah, just heat it slowly. So you're not going to be able to see very well because I haven't got a cap over the lens of the camera. I tried that just before, but the video quality was terrible. So I didn't run with it. Now when melting platinum, very important to have good melting goggles. Um, pretty much trying to melt without the goggles, um, it's very dangerous to your eyes. I never ever recommend it. Now the metal is hot, you can turn the flame up and really start getting into it. Now three hits and tap a little bit. Just cap that, wait for it to cool down for a little bit. You see all around here it's still very red hot, so that's a uh, super hot metal. So as it cools, you can remove the cap once it sort of gets hard. Um, all I want to 
to do is just stop any oxygen going into the metal, giving it bubbles. Um, that's really not what we want, so it's still pretty hot there now. Now, never use steel tweezers um, on platinum. Um, some people do it, they say they don't really have any problems, but you can contaminate it um, and just make your final polish hard. You know, you, you just get a, a surface with kind of like bubbles, but it's you just never get a perfect finish on it. Now, as you see here, I'll wait for it to cool a little bit. Now, it should actually crack free. Now, the, the ceramic, it will sink down and melt into the ceramic crucible. Um, this isn't a platinum melting crucible, but the suppliers around here at the moment don't have any. So, I'm sort of using what I've got to use here. Um, now, platinum expands and contracts in heat. So, as all around here, it would have sunken into this crucible a little bit. So as this um, cools down, the piece will actually become smaller and crack free. So at the moment, see I'm pushing it, it's not coming out, but as it cools, as it continues to cool, the piece will just become smaller and smaller. But the outline of where it's melted into will stay the same and it should crack free. Um, on larger melts, probably bigger than this, the piece will actually crack and jump off as it cools down. Um, which is pretty cool, but um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get that here today. Getting pretty close, it should come off here in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we've got a little bit on the back here. This is a little bit of ceramic. So what I'll do is, I'll just pause the video and I'll throw that in the acid for 10 minutes. Dissolve all that and uh, we'll remelt the back and we'll come back to it. Alright, so it's been in the acid for a few minutes now, so I've just removed all the ceramic from it. So we'll, we'll go again, and um, pretty much this time, all I want to do is just sweat the back of this metal, where it's all rough and scaly now. I just want to sweat it without melting the other side, so I've got two clean surfaces on both ends. So... Won't take much this time to do, but And the bottom, oh, the bottom of the bar. So it's the back side of the first melt. So um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now what I might do here is, from this point, I might make a part two on this video because to go from a blob form to a bar, which is the way that I do these things. You see, I don't put them in a little ingot like this, like I do with most other metals. I've got a few of these, all different sizes, but um, for platinum. I just find it better to um, to actually hammer the metal into a bar from a blob and, uh, and roll it out from there. But what I'll do is, I think we'll call this video done. Um, there's the bar, see it's been capped. So that's pretty much, if you're doing like a halo or a plate work or something, that's good to go. You just roll that through the rollers from here. I've acid it after it's cooled. Look, never quench the platinum, um, that's another probably important thing. I mean, some people probably do it. I don't. I just don't see any purpose in it. Um, but, yeah, look, I don't know. That's that's ready to roll after all the um, flux is off it, the flux from, or the ceramic from the crucible. Um, the reason you go get rid of that is so you don't damage your rollers. As you roll it through, look, you damage your plate and you damage your rollers if you do it too much. So it's always good to have clean metal. Um, so, yeah, look, I'll, I'll air cool this. 
Uh, put in the acid for as long as it takes to remove any flux or ceramic from the surface of the metal. And um, we'll go through the rollers after that. We'll go and hammer it and roll it. But I'll call that video part two on this video, okay? So, um, yeah, please subscribe if you like the video and I helped you out. Um, if there's anything you want to see, um, please write it in the comments below and I'll, I'll do my best to make a video for it. But, um, or if you get any feedback about it, please let me know. Righty, I'll, um, I'll get on it and start on part two.